In this video, I want to talk about one of the biggest challenges for INFPs when trying to, to make it in this world and trying to um, create some sort of success in a life that they love to live. What's up, legend? It's Sherman here from Geek Psychology, helping you find your true character and level it up so you can play life better. Um, I'm an INFP myself. I moved to Japan when I was 18, uh, just on a whim, wanted to explore and learn more about who I was and, and see if I could exist in this world without the support uh, that I had grown comfortable with. And uh, through that, I, I've learned a lot on how to use my personality type and how to use my skills and strengths and weaknesses. And uh, I gained a lot of experience. And one thing that I, I notice a lot when I do these, these free clarity sessions, which you can sign up for if you're really serious about, you know, improving your life, don't, don't just schedule it and just be like, I just want to talk and chill or whatever, you know, but if you have something you want to work on, or you, you want to figure out your next step and gain clarity on it, go to geekpsychology.com and sign up for a session. It's free. Um, but one thing that I've learned through doing so many of these sessions with other INFPs is that we really do struggle with creating a goal for ourselves that is, um, that we understand it very clearly, right? We need some evidence procedures, what it's called in neurolinguistic programming terms. Uh, but it's, you, you need to know what you would see and feel and hear when you have achieved the goal and a lot of times with us infps we're we're very kinesthetic and we're just like i i'll know when i get there because it'll feel right and that, that's true um, that will happen you know it will be this like for me it's this kind of solidifying inside of all the whatever was sloshing around and it's just like oh i've got conviction now i know what i want i know this is where i'm going and i'm making the right choice uh, but that it's very hard to calibrate when you are setting up goals for your future for three years down the road or whatever it is. Um, so one thing that I always try to push as much as I can is to create the life that you want to live. You need to imagine it first. You need to have a vision for it. Vision as in like you got to see it what it is. So take your time to just close your eyes now and, and really get into that experience and know what you will feel when you have it. Yes. But also what you'll see, what your daily routine is going to be like. What's, what's the first thing you, you do in the morning when you're living the perfect life? Have you thought about that before? Because if you haven't, you need to, because it's extremely powerful. What are the things that you hear? What are the things that you're doing physically? You know, you waking up earlier, good what time get clear on it what's the first thing you do you go make a coffee go to the bathroom have a shower meditate talk to your your loved one or whoever it is go play with your dog like what what are the actual things that you're doing and it might it might feel rigid it might sound like Ugh, i don't even want to plan all that i want the freedom to just do what i want to do and because i'll be happy and that's that's a great goal but it's kind of hard to do when you don't know where you're going right like fuzzy targets don't get hit um, if you don't know where you're going how do you put it within the the gps like how do you plot the path to get there what do you do you got to really plan it out and the first thing that you can do to do that is if you want to do it yourself which i it's a great skill to get is to sit down and journal it plot it out plan it out write write a full page of what that life is like draw some pictures you know a lot of us are artistically inclined or you know we want to be uh, draw some pictures you know get really clear write it out and then narrow in on each aspect of it and really clarify what is the visual thing what is the auditory thing and what is the kinesthetic feeling thing what are those within each of your goals that are giving you the the sign that tells you that you've gotten the thing that you want. So then your whole, uh, your whole mind, your reticular activating system is, is focused on that and you can make those steps 
easier. And you can rework, you can work backwards from the goal and say, this is what I want. So how do I set up my life now to make it inevitable to get to where I want to go? And if this all sounds good to you, but you know, you're not quite sure how to do it, maybe you're a, <laughs> you struggle with the how to's like, yeah, okay, I understand it conceptually, but what is the thing I need to do? I suggest you go to inowfeelpositive.com if you're an INFP and sign up for the newsletter. You'll get some, some free videos, some bonuses, some cool stuff, and also buy the masterclass because I sourced that information from 200 other INFPs on what were the biggest struggles? What are you struggling with right now? What are you dealing with, right? And then I crafted the, the whole masterclass program. It's a month long program to help you deal with those things based on the Myers-Briggs system and, and kind of my own personified uh, version of it, which fits very nicely for other INFPs. And you also get another free coaching call if you sign up for that. It's, it's like super cheap um, and super impactful. And I really do hope that you go that way, you go that route, and you, you know, if you've never bought a course or anything like that, um, do it and commit yourself to it. And in a month, you can have more control over your life. You can know how to set goals better. You can clean up that past garbage, all that stuff that you've just been piling on yourself. That's what I imagine you do with garbage. I mean, that's what I would do is just kind of pour it all over me and just be like, ah, help, I don't know what to do. Um, anyway, and build more creativity and really understand your values and emotions and, and how to use those to serve you to make um, better decisions and to fuel your motivation so that you're not just kind of, eh, I don't really feel like doing it right now. Maybe I'll do it next time. Play some games or whatever. I love games. I do. But uh, making a more compelling, uh, competitive interest is the right way to go. All right, so I hope this video was helpful. Let me know down below in the comments what resonated with you, what you're working on, um, and even how will you know that you've reached your goal? What is the clear, defined, detailed understanding of that? And then go get it. All right. Keep up the lifelong questing. I think I said that right. Keep up the lifelong questing. Good luck. Have fun. Peace.